Hi, today we are going to study about fun with magnets lesson number 13. Mohan has stuck some nice looking stickers on his refrigerator. These stickers have small objects at the back which make them stick to the refrigerator without glue. Do you know what these objects are? The objects at the back of the stickers are magnets. The magnets are interesting substances that can attract certain materials. Let us find out more about magnets. How magnets were discovered? It is said that there was a shepherd named Magnus who lived in ancient Greece. He used to take his herd of sheep and goats to the nearby mountains for grazing. He would take a stick with him to control his head. The stick had a small piece of iron attached at one end. One day he was surprised to find that he had to pull hard to free his stick from a rock on the mountain side. It seemed as if the stick was being attracted by the rock. The rock was a natural magnet and it attracted the iron tip of the shepherd's stick. It is said that this is how the natural magnets were discovered. Such rocks were given the name magnetite, perhaps after the name of that shepherd. Magnetite contains iron. Some people believe that magnetite was first discovered at a place called magnesia. The substances having the property of attracting iron are known as magnets. Now, you know that the magnets are the materials that attract objects made of certain substances like iron, cobalt and nickel. Then magnets come in various shapes and sizes. They can be found as bar magnet that is rectangular in shape, horseshoe shaped, needle shaped, cylindrical, ball ended and ring shaped. So not all the objects are attracted to the magnets. So some are attracted to the magnets and some others are not attracted to the magnets. So the objects that are attracted by a magnet are said to be magnetic. That means magnetic materials. Example, iron, nickel and cobalt. The objects that are not attracted by a magnet are said to be non-magnetic. We can say example, wood and plastic. Now, when the magnet materials are brought close to a magnet, they do not stick evenly to all parts of the magnet. They stick more on certain parts of the magnet. These are called poles of the magnet. That means the magnetic forces are the strongest at the poles. There are two types of poles in every magnet, irrespective of its shape. These are by convention called the North Pole and the South Pole. The two poles cannot exist independently. That is why they always come in pairs. If you break in bar magnet in the middle, we would get two pieces, each having a North Pole and the South Pole. We could go on breaking the magnet into smaller pieces and every time we would get both the poles in each piece. Now let's study about the properties of magnets. So the properties of magnets, the first one we can say a magnet attracts magnetic substances. Now the magnet has two poles. The poles exist in pairs. Then the magnetic pull or magnetic influence is stronger near the ends of the magnet. That means the poles has the strongest attraction. Now the next one is a freely suspended magnet 
always rest in the north south direction with this one how we will prove that take a bar magnet put a mark on one of its ends for identification now tie a thread at the middle of the magnet so that you may suspend it from the wooden stand make sure that the magnet can rotate freely let it come to a rest mark two points on the ground to show the position of the ends of the magnet when it comes to rest so there if you see always the same pole comes to that particular direction so the freely suspended bar magnet always comes to rest in the particular direction which is the north and south direction use the direction of the rising sun in the morning to find out the rough direction towards east where you are doing this experiment now we can show that the next property is the unlike poles of the magnet attract each other and the like poles repel each other for that you have to take a bar magnet tie it with the thread and suspend it from the wooden stand in such a manner that it can rotate freely in the horizontal plane take another bar magnet bring the south pole of the bar magnet held in the hand near the north pole of the suspended magnet in the same manner bring the north pole of the bar magnet held in the hand near the south pole of the suspended magnet observe what happens to the both the cases now bring north pole of the another magnet near the north pole and in the same manner bring the south pole of the magnet near the south pole of the suspended magnet observe what happens and note down your observations so from this we can conclude that the unlike poles that is north and south and south and north of the magnets attract each other whereas the like poles north and north and south and south repel each other now this property of the magnet is very much useful for us for centuries travelers have been making use of this property of magnets to find directions it is said that in olden days travelers used to find directions by suspending natural magnets with the thread which they always carried with them later on a device was developed based on this property it is known as the compass a compass is usually a small box with a glass cover on it a magnetized needle is pivoted inside the box which can rotate freely the compass also has a dial with the directions marked on it the compass is kept at the place where we wish to know the directions its needle indicates the north south direction when it comes to rest the compass is then rotated until the north and the south marked on the dial are at the two ends of the needle to identify the north pole of the magnetic needle it is surely painted in a different color so this way we can find out the direction with the help of the magnetic compass now how to take care of these magnets these magnets if we do some activity they lose the properties so when they lose the properties the magnets lose their properties if they are heated strongly dropped from a height hit with the hammer or not stored properly so they must be stored with their unlike poles on the same side with the wooden piece between them see here in this picture you can see the two bar magnets are kept and in between a wooden strip is kept a pair of soft iron pieces called keepers is usually placed across their ends so the magnet should be stored away from 
மொபைல் ஃபோன்ஸ் டெலிவிஷன்ஸ் ரேடியோஸ் அண்ட் கம்ப்யூட்டர்ஸ் நவ் லெட் சி வாட் ஆர் த ஹவ் வீ கேன் மேக் அவர் ஓன் மேக்னெட் தெர் ஆர் செவரல் மெத்தட்ஸ் ஆஃப் மேக்கிங் மேக்னெட்ஸ் லெட் அஸ் லேர்ன் த சிம்பிளஸ்ட் ஒன் டேக் எ ரெக்டாங்குலர் பீஸ் ஆஃப் அயன் பிளேஸ் இட் ஆன் த டேபிள் நவ் டேக் அ பார் மேக்னெட் and place one of its poles near one edge of the bar of the iron without lifting the bar magnet move it along the length of the iron bar till you reach the other end now lift the magnet and bring the pole to the same point of the iron bar from which you began move the magnet again and again along the iron bar in the same direction about 30 to 40 times now bring a pin or some iron filings near the iron bar to check whether it has become a magnet if not continue the process for some more time remember that the pole of the magnet and the direction of its movement should not change you can also use an iron nail needle or a blade and convert them into a magnet So you can now know how to make a magnet so that you can make your own compass also the magnetize an iron needle using a bar magnet now insert the magnetized needle through a small piece of cork or foam let the cork float in water in a bowl or a tub make sure that the needle does not touch the water your compass is now ready to work make a note of the direction in which the needle points when the cork is floating rotate the cork with the needle fixed in it in different directions note the direction in which the needle points when the cork begins to float again without rotating does the needle always point in the same direction you can uh, observe while doing this experiment at home Now I told you attraction and repulsion. Let us play another interesting game with magnets. Take two small toy cars and label them A and B. Place a bar magnet on top of each car along its length and fix them with the rubber bands. Now in car A you can open your textbook and see page 132. In car A keep the south pole of the magnet towards its front. place the magnet in opposite direction in car b now place the two cars close to one another what do you observe do the cars remain at their places do the cars run away from each other do they move towards each other yes when the like poles come together they move away but the unlike poles come together they attract each other so this property of the magnets can also be observed by suspending a magnet and bringing one by one poles of the another magnet that we have already discussed so now what are the uses of magnets they are used in the computer hard disks and audio and video cassettes to store information they are used in credit cards and atm cards to store information they are used in televisions doorbells and telephones they are also used to lift large objects they are used to pick up or sort objects made up of iron and steel okay children you have studied the there are two types of magnets also the one is the natural magnet and the artificial magnets so this natural magnet is really it is from the earth artificial magnets are made by human so children the mag- uh, magnetite is a natural magnet and each magnet has two magnetic poles then the properties are a freely suspended magnet always aligns in north south direction and like poles repel each other and unlike poles attract each other So you read the lesson and try to complete your textbook exercises thank you